Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back office. I like grilled cheese and I know you do because food videos get actually more views than my electronics videos. So I've actually picked up a piece of equipment. I was actually given it and it's meant to be the best grilled cheese sandwich maker you can buy. So we're going to just flip over and actually make a sandwich. For this, you'll need some ingredients. Start with a piece of bread. And on that bread, we're gonna use some uh, of this, I think, margarine. It says it's lovely, let's hope it is. It's not that important, but you need it. Go edge to edge, all the way to the bloody edge. That's the, you know, a key um, difference between crap cheese on toast or grilled cheese if you're American, um, and good one, because the butter will actually stop the bread burning on the edges so get it right to the edges there look at that brilliant and to that all you need is your favorite cheese and I'm using a mature English cheddar now if, again if you're in America you don't get real cheese so just use some of your American processed uh, yellow cheese block I mean that's pretty good uh, I do tell a lie you can find it I would advise you go to a proper shop though and get some proper cheese um, when I was in Milwaukee, there was some reasonably good cheese there, so I don't know if that's in a different state, but you can find it if you really go looking. So open your uh, cheesing drawer and get your bread in there. By the way, you didn't see me do this, but I'm actually using the heel of the bread. I know some people don't like that, but I love it. Pop it on there like that, and then pop that in there. All you've got to do then, set program F1, boom. And then it will just basically make your grilled cheese sandwich. So it's, it's got a temperature profile here. Apparently it takes eight minutes to make the optimum grilled cheese sandwich. And through that it has to start at zero degrees, working its way slowly up to 300 degrees centigrade and then back down. And this machine ensures that you have optimal cheese distribution. That's why infrared um, Irish cheese tester. I'm using English cheese, but it will still work. So we'll come back in about eight minutes and see how it fares. Hey, that was about, I don't know, about a minute. Um, apparently you don't need full eight minutes for this cheese sandwich. Have a look at it here though. Isn't that amazing? And uh, although I did try to butter the edge, clearly I, I missed, misjudged a little bit, but I'm gonna give it a try. Um, and it does look though, it's absolutely supernova hot. Ah, it is hot, but good. It dripped on me, it's burning. But that's absolutely great. If you needed to make though, I reckon you could get oh, at least six slices in this, a one go. Mm, look at that, that is pretty damn good. Now these machines will probably set you back, I don't know, a few hundred pounds, maybe maybe in excess of uh, 300. I, 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 you'd have to shop around, but definitely, definitely worth it, amazing. Thinking about it, the ability to make a grilled cheese sandwich in under a minute is definitely, definitely worth paying £300 for.